do change in the game Doing my thing in my own lane Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches Sliding through with something super vicious Who is this? Mr. Everything's the name Can't do change in the game Doing my thing in my own lane Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches Sliding through with something super vicious Who is this? What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Everything, bringing y'all another episode of Low Riders and Horsepower. You know what I'm saying? I'd like to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel, you know, whether it's been in the past or it's over the past few days. I appreciate everybody, you know what I'm saying? Rain, sleet, hell, snow, or shine, nothing, and no one stops the grind. Not even the haters on the sidelines. Today, we're about to bring y'all some horsepower. We brought y'all a little bit of Low Riders last time and some horsepower, so I try to, you know, uh, split it up. Sometime I'll give y'all a project, sometime I'll bring y'all the car show, let y'all see all the car content. So on this channel, it's universal. So we're about to get into it, you know what I'm saying, and let y'all know what we got going on. All right, I'm going to let y'all see real quick. So we got two more plugs, you know what I'm saying, going in. I don't got that much time because I really be, you know what I'm saying, on to the next one. As far as, uh, you know, putting work in and everything like that. So I'm about to slap them two plugs in, gap them. Uh, the gap is 60 on this particular uh, build that we're doing, you know what I'm saying? And I'm about to show y'all the motor and the before and after, you feel me? Back with the Project Trans Am, you know what I'm saying? And that's the old plug right there. Taking out another plug. I don't got that much time, you know what I'm saying? Every single day, so... You know, when I do, I'm only going one step at a time. This one is all the way from the front one here, which would be with the motor sitting in. This would be the passenger side. So that's the new one going in there right there. Can't see past the hose. That's the new one going in there. So putting that one in, just updating everybody on what's going on with the Trans Am B. All right, everybody. So it's a picture of the motor right here. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna go ahead and take the uh, intake manifold off, uh, put a carburetor and everything up here. You know what I'm saying? And, but I'm not gonna do all of that. I wanna see this thing running under its own power soon. So I'm running what I got. Uh, I think I did, let's see. I only did like, I've done two of these so far. I didn't, uh, I think I did record when I did do the last one. It's one of them, but we got these two done. We got these two to go right here. So them the two that we about to actually swap right now. And then this side gonna be complete, then I'ma move to the other side. Yes, we trying to show y'all as we taking them out. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see what it look like. Okay. That one don't look so bad, neither. Let me get it back. Okay, there we go. That one don't look so bad. Regular wear on it. Ain't drenched in oil or nothing. And we're slapping a new one back in. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. Last one to get out. This one right here. Taking it out now. Mm. Damn, thank you for that for a minute. Ooh. Always remember to keep your knuckles out the way, you know what I'm saying? You do not want to bust your knuckles on this super solid motor here, for real. Let's see, come on up. Huh? Alright, All right. this one here. Don't look too bad. Does have a little bit of is that actually wet slitters at the bottom? Okay, it's not wet. It's old, but there is just a little bit. Just a little bit. But I don't know if they're oil. It's not bad. I ain't gonna say it's bad. Still look good. But Something to look for when you're taking off plugs. You do want to look and see if any of them are drenched in oil. And I mean, that will let you know that some type of seals, sometimes valve seals, anything might to be might need to be replaced. So just something to look at, but it still don't look bad. Okay, so the last one going up in there right now. 
See if we'll get up in there. Here we go. Gotta make sure you hear that snap, you know what I'm saying? Let me get you a little bit better of a view. Right here. Hold up. There we go. Face is blocked, you know what I'm saying? I do need to run the numbers that's on here because it says it's a 305, but I gotta make sure because 350s be looking the same. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's the end of this piece of the project. I do need to be getting that harness that goes to there and other little plugs and stuff so that engine harness is the next thing with the computer that i'm gonna be looking for all right everybody you know what i'm saying what well, it brings us to the end of this video uh thinking about a car show uh in a few weeks you know what i'm saying possibly another low rider show hopefully let's hope you know what i mean so uh till next time I don't know what the next thing. You know what? I'm going to continue with the other side as far as the plugs on the other side. We're going to keep that going slow, but for sure. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it going. And uh, till next time, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all watching. You know, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? If you already have, thank you very kindly. You know what I'm saying? Rain, sleet, hell, snow, and shine. Nothing and no one stops the grind. Not even the haters on the sidelines. I got to put some more work in, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, till next time, Mr. Everything bringing y'all low riders and horsepower, you know what I'm saying? Later.